Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. Today's video is an alcohol ink dupe. They can be really expensive, especially if you want to buy all kinds of different colors. So I'm going to show you today how you can make your own and apply it on a canvas and it mimics alcohol ink. And I also want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Okay, let's get started. To show you how to do this technique, I'm gonna use a dollar store canvas. They're really affordable and they work really well. Before we do this technique, we have to prep our canvas. I am going to apply a couple coats of my homemade gesso. I just did a tutorial and you can check that out. I'll put the link down below in the description of how you can make your own homemade gesso. It's really easy and it takes simple ingredients, but if you don't prep your board with this gesso, your technique is not going to work. You have to put a sealer on the canvas. If not, when we put our paint on it, it's gonna soak through into the canvas and we're not gonna get the alcohol ink effect. So this is a really important step. If you don't wanna make a homemade recipe, you can always find it at your art supply store. I've got two coats on. I'm just giving it a really light sand with some 220 grit sandpaper and we're ready to get going. Now this technique will only work with acrylic paint. It won't work with chalk paint or with latex paint. So get your stash of acrylic paint out and give this a try. I have my paint palette and I have some water in the middle sections and I'm just putting in a little bit of the acrylic paint in each of these smaller little sections because we're going to incorporate the acrylic paint into the water. Now here's the magic potion to do our dupe alcohol ink, rubbing alcohol. Now you wanna make sure you're buying alcohol in a dropper that is 70% or higher. Don't buy anything lower. It will not work as well. Now we want to dip our paintbrush in the acrylic paint and then put it in the water. You want a really watered down solution. You don't want much paint in it at all, just enough to just color the water and you just start painting your canvas. While the paint is still wet, you're not gonna let it dry, you're gonna take your dropper and just drop the alcohol into that paint solution and you can see the cells that it's creating and it gives you that alcohol ink effect and it's just beautiful. Now you have to make sure that you have your acrylic paint watered down enough because the alcohol reacts with the water. If you don't have enough water mixed into your acrylic paint, you will not get this effect. Alcohol ink can get really expensive and if this is something that you just want to dabble in and just try it out and see if you like it, this is a great way to start. Here on my channel though, I'm all about finding cheaper alternatives that work well and save you a little bit of money. So that's why I wanted to share this technique with you. So you don't have to put out a lot of money buying alcohol inks in the beginning. You can try this out, see if you like it, and then go from there. And there's also no right or wrong way of doing this. It's just using your imagination and being creative and splashing paint here and there and dabbing it and then just dropping in the alcohol and creating all these really fun, beautiful cells. And as you drop paint into other colors and then hit it with the alcohol dropper, you're creating other colors within that palette. And it's just so fun to watch it evolve. And I'm just gonna work away here and you can watch and see what I'm creating. You can also pick up your canvas and move your paint around, let it swirl and drip, and it just gives it a little bit more of a fun effect, and then you can drop some more alcohol into it. And here's my finished canvas. I'm gonna chat a minute about Skillshare. Make sure you stick through to the end because I'm gonna show you what I made with it when it was all finished. If you appreciate a good DIY project, then you need to subscribe to Skillshare. If you've ever had any questions or just wanna learn more about crafting, then Skillshare is a place for you. 
It's an online video-based platform where you can learn anything from photography to calligraphy. And the difference between Skillshare and YouTube and why I like it so much is it focuses on interaction, much like being in the real classroom. The instructor lays out steps and information in a way that's easy to comprehend and it's also ad-free so you can stay in the zone while exploring new skills. With new classes being launched every week, there's always something to discover. I just started taking Kelly Chase's Alcohol Ink class, and so far it's amazing, and I've certainly taken my alcohol ink skills to the next level because of Kelly's class. For less than $10 a month, you can learn a new skill, and the first thousand people to use the link in my description box or code will get one month free of Skillshare. So try it out, and let me know what you think. I let my canvas completely dry, and now I'm gonna do a graphic transfer using these CD label sheets or mailing label sheets. I'm gonna peel off the sticky paper, and we're going to use the paper underneath that's shiny. I've printed on the shiny side with my laser jet printer. This will only work with a laser jet printer, and we're gonna use our water-based polyurethane, and I'm gonna coat the whole canvas with it, and then lay my graphic down into it let it dry it takes a few hours and when you peel away that sheet your graphics are left on your project it's not always perfect sometimes you'll have little bits and pieces that don't transfer but i love that look and it's also nice because you don't have to worry about rubbing off any paper like the mod podge transfer method so this is my completed canvas using the dupe alcohol ink method I'm having so much fun fooling around with this technique and after watching so many videos on Skillshare, I think I'm ready to maybe purchase some alcohol inks and take it to the next level. I also wanted to show you it on a piece of wood. This is just a piece of pine that I painted with some black chalk paint and then over top of the black chalk paint, I painted two coats of the gesso and now I'm doing this alcohol ink dupe technique on top of that. And you can see I've just been using the blue and the green, dropping the alcohol into it, and it's creating some beautiful cells on the wood also. You can also do this on paper, just as long as you've got a couple coats of the gesso on it. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial, and if you haven't explored into the world of alcohol inks, this is a great place to start. And I find that it gives such a unique background to any of the wooden signs that I make or the canvases that I apply my graphics to. If you like this kind of content, I'd love for you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great DIY content. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and if you love this video, I'm sure you'll love either of these two. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.